Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Decoplaging with Michelle. Super excited to have you guys here with me today. Just going to uh, decoplage a few jars. Um, I think I found some really cool different size ones. I'm going to show you those here. So I'm just going to decoplage those. Now this one, uh, th these are small so they shouldn't take too long. Um, again, I'm going to be, be using Mod Podge and right now I'm using the um, the gloss just because it's what I have. I'm just going to use this up and then I'll, I normally use the matte but um, for Christmas I got a, a supply of Mod Podge so I'm going to use what I have and that works perfectly. So I just want to show you a few of the jars that I that I have and um, the designs that we're going to put on them. Super excited for this. Um, so the first one is I have this I found these at a garage sale over the summer I think, I think I have like three or four of them. They weren't very expensive. They were probably 50 cents. But I love them because it kind of looks like a milk, like a milk, um, a small version of a milk jug. Um, so for this one, I thought, I think I'm going to put this little truck on there. And I wanted to sh do this, talk about this one first because normally I use napkins, you guys. But I wanted to also share that you can also use other forms. So this little truck that I'm going to put on there is actually tissue paper. It's just a, a thing of tissue paper I got. I think I got this tissue paper from Hobby Lobby. So anything fine and uh, thin uh, paper, like the tissue paper or the napkins, you can use for these things. Um, it lays really flat and you can't see it. So we're going to be doing that one. Um, let me just show you some of these jars. So again, these are just random jars that I found at grad sales or the thrift store. Um, this is really cute. So we're going to do a little Easter design on this. That'll be adorable. Um, can I have a, a, even a smaller milk jug um, type? So you can see it's a little bit smaller. Um, so we have that one. I found this at, a, at a, I think a garage sale this summer. Just a really cute little um, jar of the lid. In this, I'm sure this had some like some sort of like vinegar or something in it, um, but these small ones, these, the, I like these small ones. They are really great for decoration or de decorating space fillers on shelves. And then I have this, uh, this really cute little square one we're going to do. And then I'll, I'm going to save the designs for you guys to look at. And then we're just going to do a, a, just a, a pint, a wide mouth pint jar of a really cool design for that one. So let's get going here. Again, we have a Mod Podge and we never shake our Mod Podge. We always roll it. And we do that so that it will um, keep the air bubbles out of it. So, and then of course I use my, I have my, my plaid Mod Podge brush. I like the white one here. This works really, really well for me. So I'm just going to start from the, my left here and work right. Um, and uh, so this is going to be the square one, which is really, really cool. And um, I have, you know, it's, it's the beginning of the year. Um, I'm going to do a couple you know, see I'm going to do some spring things um, preparing for some of my spring uh, craft shows so super excited here make sure that's that's in focus for you guys nothing worse than being off camera right so this is just this really cute little nest with some eggs in it I thought that for spring that's really adorable I like the way it wraps around as well so we're going to uh, I think I like the placement of that and again, I just do half of that, pull that over, put a little Mod Podge on my brush. I don't do a lot. I think I'll show you. That's about as much as I use. Then I'm going to just go down. I'll go over because that's where the napkin's going to go on the side. Now the goal is, so the, the, when you do this, is not to have this very thick. This Mod Podge should only be tacky. Uh, when you have big clumps of Mod Podge, it will tear your napkin, it will bubble your napkin. So if you're having problems with those things, you might want to take a look at how much Mod Podge you're using. But see how nicely that just laid down there? And we're going to put a little bit more. I'm going to flip this around here. And we're going to put a little bit more Mod Podge. i got a big clump there. And just going to pull this over here. Just put that on with my brush. And I don't think I put that much. I didn't put the Mod Podge that far. So I'm going to put more on my brush. And I want to go to the edge there. 
And that looks pretty snazzy here. Now again, the, one of the things, get this out. Um, the finishing touch that we always want to do when we do our jars is to get some of that plastic wrap. If you have any bubbles um, or um, wrinkles, the plastic wrap works really well. Now if you know if you watch my videos, I usually try to have the plastic wrap out. I always fight with plastic wrap. I don't know what it is. Does anyone else have this problem? Alright, I got it unrolled. Let's see if I can rip it. Here we go. Okay, success. Look, it's a hot mess though, you guys. But it works. It does the job. So I'm going to lay that plastic wrap over here. And I just get my finger or my thumb. I just particularly go over the edges to make sure the, the edges that are on there adhere really well. And then I uh, have a little bit of a wrinkle there. Rub those wrinkles out. And then you can gingerly pull that off. And look at that, you guys. That is stinking cute. I was thinking uh, I'll put a, a nice pastel ribbon on this to, to finish it. And uh, I might tr just find some really pretty spring flowers. I think that's going to look really nice on here. So the next jar is this smaller milk jug. Um, and I have these really great napkins. I'll show you kind of, I'm going to use a couple of them in what we're doing tonight. But these are the napkins. These beautiful small designs. Um, and I just love these. I think these look so good. Get some dry lavender. They're just beautiful. So I'm going to put this, uh, this is just a um, little vase with lavender in it. I think it looks really cool here. And um, I'm going to try to, I want to make sure that that's straight up and down. It's round, so I'm not really worried about that side by side. But I do want to make sure it goes up and down correctly. And this one, because it's long, I'm actually going to put it on like this. Instead of going side to side, I'm going to do a top to bottom. Um, this makes it a little bit easier and keeps it in place a little bit better, I think. Uh, just put that on there. Flip this around. Got a bubble over there, but I will take care of that. Some plastic wrap. So, what kind of great crafting things have you guys been doing? Um, I guess the beginning of the year. Hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. Um, I did. I was able to rest. I didn't do a whole lot of crafting. Um, but I, I was able to rest and spend time with family and all those wonderful things that we don't normally get to do. So, of course, I'd love to hear from you guys, see what you guys are doing. So that's on there. We have a couple of wrinkles, but we're gonna we're gonna rub these wrinkles out of here. So just get your thumb, go over on the edges. This is a very very small one, so it doesn't go out too far. But I have a wrinkle here that I don't like. The great thing about this, you rub that wrinkle out and it goes away. So there's a wrinkle right there. So sometimes these skinny ones are a little a little trickier, but that turned out really good. What do you think, you guys? Yay! Awesome. Okay. I'm going to double check and make sure this is all in focus, you guys. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Alright. So this one. Got this at a dollar, or at a, a yard sale over the summer. So spent a dollar on it. So cute. Um... So again, I love that lavender. We've established that, right? I think this, I just thought this is going to fit in this, this little groovy part here. And I thought this is just going to fit in there. Look at that. Perfectly. So I'm going to make sure I get my line even. So it has the, the basket, the bottom of the basket. I want to make sure that it's along this line really well. Um... And then this is a little trickier one because we have the grooves and I want to make sure that it lies nicely between them. And I don't want to move my line. I want my line to be straight. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cool. This might be one that I end up keeping for myself, if I'm honest. 
I always say that though. I do have a shelf near my craft room. I have um, some shelves and I have quite a few jars that I've made that were just, just too sinking cute to get rid of. So I was like, well, yeah, let's put them on the shelf. So, okay, we're gonna adhere that down. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is stinking, stinking cute. I'll rub that in, putting up here in this little that little groove. I have some of the some of the napkin on that groove. Oh look at that. How adorbs. And let me grab one of the, my, my favorite lavender one off my shelf. This is probably one of the first lavender ones I made. And I actually keep it on my shelf because it's my fave. So, um, I love the shape of this jar. This was an old coffee, small co instant coffee jar. But this lavender bike, um, I just thought it, the way that the jar was shaped, it just fit on there perfectly. So, and I did a simple twine bow. One of my favorite, favorite pieces. And I keep that keep that here on my shelf with me. So, um, you just never know when you can find these really great jars or you can just upcycle. It's fantastic. So, the next one we're going to do um, is this... Um, I believe it had some sort of vinegar, I would imagine, in there. Um, but I, I found this this napkin. Let me show you the full design. Um, I guess I kind of cut it. Had all these like little designs on it, and uh, I just love this. I love ladybugs. I just, you can't ever go wrong with a ladybug, right? <clears throat> so I just saw a nice little clover, the four leaf clover, the ladybug. I like how this wraps around. It's just so adorable. So we're gonna we're gonna put this on there and I'm, ex I'm excited about this one. I think this is gonna be cute. And I thought with St. Patty's Day, like get some really cool, like a fun glitter um kind of a flower assortment uh, arrangement thing that goes out of there would just be adorable. So on this napkin, I don't know if you guys can see it. This napkin has real, you know, the the little like impressions or imprints on the napkins, all those round ones. This one has it really, really bad. Um, so I have need to take a little extra extra time and really go over those spots really well so that I can get rid of those the simpling of those spots on the napkin the first time. I don't have to really worry about rubbing it out. So if you can see, that just rubs out really easily. I have quite enough glue on here. That looks so good. Yeah, I just think, oh, if I could find like one of those floral like assortments, so like the glittery green, like branches, but find something with something with something with a ladybug on a stick. That was so cute, you guys. Okay, so I just have three more I'm gonna do, um, and I'm excited about these ones. So of course I showed this to you at the beginning, um, just a simple square, I don't know what was it would have been in here, um, but I love the shape of that. I'm going to do this, this um, um, feather. I just saw, I, you know, I love feathers. Um, they always remind me of my dad. So whenever I see a napkin or something with a pretty, pretty flower or a feather on it, I always get it. So I just saw something pretty simple. I was gonna do a lavender on here, but I just kind of like this. And again, this may be one that I keep too, so we'll see. And I'm gonna, again, do this one like I've done those other ones where it's, when it's long, I just do it this way instead of doing left to right. I go up and down, I just found that easier. Put that down a little bit there. And I have a little bit too much Mod Podge and I can see my, my part of the napkin started to move at the top when I did that. So it's a great example of what can happen if we use too much Mod Podge. What do you guys think about this? I just think, man, put a, just a really a thin, maybe a ribbon on there that has like a turquoise or a brown on it. I think I have one that has both on it. It has a mixture of the both. That'd be really, really cute. 
And I think you could get some really cool, um, like some sort of, a, um, I don't want to say floral, but it's not really floral, like an accent things to put in there. How cool is that, you guys? Okay, winding down here. I showed you this earlier, and I'm going to do the um, I love that old old truck. I thought with spring coming, I would do the spring flowers. Um, this is not, uh, because it's, 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 this is the tissue paper and not the napkin. So I have to do, uh, I, don't, I don't have to be as, as delicate with it. And in fact, I have to be a little harder on it because, um, I want to make sure I have, I have it because um, it has some wrinkles in it. And the tissues, you, the napkins you can just um, pull out with uh, when you put this on there but this you actually have to really rub it out so and that looks really good I like how that's sitting on there all right we're gonna put this on and again I just want to make this tacky and not clumpy so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna pull that on there so I pulled that on there a little bit and that got rid of the wrinkles for me that the, it was really the crease uh, that was in the paper. I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I have a, quite a bit of uh, Mod Podge on my brush. I'm not gonna dip it again. I want to get rid, rid of that big old globber glob. Great English today, you guys. Globber globs, and you know, but I know you all know what I'm talking about. So that rubbed out really nicely. So again, I'm gonna get my plastic wrap and I'm going to use my thumb or my finger and really just kind of rub all this out make sure that's on there nice and tight and then I'll pull it up gently and this is going to pull some of this tissue up I can tell already so this is one of the issues with the tissue it lays flat but sometimes it just pulls up um, but we can usually fix that pretty good Gonna do the same thing. All right, I'm just gonna kind of fix that. I'm gonna use my brush to blend that in instead of using the tissue. But isn't that cute? There we go. That works. This is super cute, you guys. Again, a bouquet of of spring flowers in this would look great. Um, you know, I do seal my jars. <clears throat> so I'll do a reminder here. I seal my jars. And they are water resistant, so I seal them with the Deco um, Art, the Duraclear. Um, I use a satin finish. They have a variety of finishes. But this one, these dry, I usually allow these to dry for 24 hours. I will I will put a, a coat or two on of this on. And um, that way when you put the flower, if you put fresh flowers in, the paint doesn't get damaged or the design doesn't get damaged. So um, that's what I use. <clears throat> Last design, you guys. So I'm going to do this. It's pint, pint jar, wide mouth pint, pint jar. And I know spring is around the corner and I can't wait. I love hydrangeas. Pop, my, my, my favorite, one of my favorite spring flowers. Daffodils and hydrangeas. That's what I love. Um, well, this is rather as a summer flower. but um, So I have this little napkin. And I was like, I'm just going to will spring to come. Um, and summer to come by putting it on my jar sounded like a plan in my head uh, so that's what we're gonna do so I like this on this jar it fits perfectly so again I'm gonna line it up I think that looks pretty good I'm gonna flip this over and uh, hold it with that hand get uh, get some Mod Podge and you wanna again it can't be no puddles um, you want to make sure it's just nice and even and tacky. That's the best way to do these napkins. So I'm gonna put some little bit on that lid there. All right, go I go up, I go down. Now this has a little bit of a the, the lip, so I want to make sure that lip stays even. So I'm gonna pull that over, get, make sure that goes on that lip nicely, and then I'll just kind of go down. And then when I get to the bottom. I'll just go pull that right down to the bottom of the jar. 
and I'll fix that that little bit here. I'll put some Mod Podge on that little lippy part after I get this side done. So I'm gonna fold that back. I have a runaway brush. Drives me crazy. I need to I need to cut that off. For whatever reason, when I wash it, it doesn't doesn't lay it back down. So I always forget when I when I wash it to cut it off, and then I go to use this again, and then I'm reminded that I forgot to cut it off. So the vicious cycle. So again, I'm going to go along that line. I want to make sure that this line stays nice and even. I'm going to take care of that, and we're just going to bring this over. All right, and that looks fantastic. I'm going to use my plaster wrap. I want to make sure that, that the, the tissue that's over that lip um, is nice and blended. And then I'm just going to go around the edges here, make sure this is all on here. Especially down here where I had to pull that down, I want to make sure I use my, my uh, thumb and, and put that on there really tightly. I have to take this off because I had a big hole in my tissue and my my um, plastic wrap. So I want to make sure I can do this side here. There. How awesome, you guys! What do you think? I even think um, a bunch of fresh hydrangeas in here would be beautiful. So we did these. What we did three. We did seven jars. Um, again, with I, you know, it took very little time to prep these. What takes the most time is, is the painting. So, you know, each of these jars are painted. Um, I do two coats of paint. Let me show you what I use. I do two coats of the Rust-Oleum chalk in linen white. I found from, for me that works best. Um, they have different colors and different brands. You'll find what works best for you. And then I want to let that dry for a couple days. And then I prep the napkins or the tissue paper. So just to recap, we have the um, nest, the nest egg with eggs. We have the lavender jug. Uh, we have my personal favorite, which is the lavender jar with a lid. I think that's gonna be really cool. And then the uh, clovers with the ladybugs. The square with the um, feather. I had a loss for words tonight. And then the milk jug with the old timer kind of kind of puts um truck with the giant bouquet of, of beautiful spring and summer flowers. And then of course we have the pint jar with the hydrangeas on it. So you guys, I hope you found this useful and helpful. Um, love to hear back from you. Show me some things that you guys are doing. Love, love to get feedback and see what you're doing. All right, take care.